Good morning, my beautiful people. How are we all today? Um, as you can tell, I am still in bed and wearing pajamas um, because I have just woken up. Um, but the reason for that is because I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. I am going to be doing a get ready with me video, but a travel version. So it will be kind of what's in my makeup bag when I travel. Uh, what do I take when I go to like for working holiday visas? What do I take when I go? like a three month backpacking trip because it is different it is vastly different actually and it is always this bright in my room in the morning because i do not have curtains <laughs> and so this is how i wake up um and also my room i just painted my room white like yesterday so yeah i'm gonna go brush my teeth and have a shower and do all those wonderful things that most people do before they actually start filming a video. Uh, and then we can get going. So let's get it. So I'm showered and ready to go now. Um, uh, I have, I didn't wash my hair today, but that's fine. I don't need to wash it every day. Um, um, if you don't know who I am, I'm Keshvi. I do mainly travel content. Um, go follow me on Instagram. Go find me on TikTok. Um, I post on both of them. Not so much TikTok all the time. I like scrolling through it though, you know, small addicted. Um, but today's video is about what makeup I have in my travel makeup pack. So I'll usually take a little bag like this. Um, Actually, it's quite big, isn't it? Like the size of my face. Um, my friend actually got this for me. Um, it's so cute. I use it as my makeup bag. Um, when I'm going on a trip, like on a working holiday visa or something, I normally take um, a lot of my makeup because I'm going to be in cities. Um, I'm going to be living somewhere. And so I have like a base where I can keep all of my stuff. Um, but if I am traveling for like three months or so, or like just a month, if I know I'm going on a short trip, um, and I know I'm only gonna have a backpack. This this is probably all all of my toiletries basically. Um, I can also fit my toothbrush and toothpaste and my contact lens stuff in here too. So this is like basically everything I, I own um, in regards to like makeup and toiletries. Burp, burp. So one thing you guys do know need to know about backpacking, if you already don't know this, is obviously there's not too much space in your bag. So you're not going to carry a lot of makeup. Also, the environment that you're in, because you're in hostels with a lot of other people generally, um, it's so much more relaxed. No one really wears too much makeup. No one goes like, full, no one really goes full glam. Obviously, there's like a couple of people who love to put on makeup and that's like fine. Everyone can put whatever they want in their bag. Generally as well, I'll always go to hotter countries when I'm traveling for a long period of time. So the heat, I don't like wearing a lot of makeup in heat. Like I really, really don't. Like I really don't like wearing makeup in heat. So um, my skin, uh, so my skin's generally bare, like maybe I'll put on some concealer or something. And the last reason I don't take too much with me is because even when we're going out, even when we are going out at night, it's just, it's not the vibe, I guess, I generally go for. Um, I like to go for like a more natural look um, and it, I just don't wear too much. But if you know me and you've seen me in a city and you've seen me go out in a city or like wear somewhere where I'm like, I'm essentially living for like three, four, six months, um, you know, <laughs> we both, we all know that I like to put on makeup. I like doing my eyeshadow. I like putting nice lipstick on like, I am that person in a city. I'm just not that person when I travel. And I'm pretty sure, like, let me know uh, in the comments if you guys are the same. But like, I'm so sure like a lot of people are like that, like, yeah. So let's go through it, shall we? So the first product that I generally take with me is moisturizer. This is the Ole one. Um, if I'm traveling, obviously currently I'm living in Canada, but if I am traveling, traveling, um, this will normally be like a BB cream because it's just easier because we've got both. Um, but I really like this moisturizer. I feel like a beauty cream. I'm pretty sure there's like a certain way that you should apply these things, but I'm just gonna show you the way that I do it, <laughs> obviously. Um, mine's not like 
<clears throat> the way that I apply things. Yeah. So we put like a good layer of that. That's a nice little moisturizer. Okay. So as I said before, if I was actually traveling, traveling, I have a BB cream. I generally use this BB cream. Um, it is so good. It's super lightweight. Uh, I don't know. I just love it. Um, I will then, I'll then go in with like a, a really high SPF 50. This I only put on in the morning. Um, generally because it's got like that white uh, little, I'll show you. It's got like a little white cast that like comes on my skin. Um, so it like makes me a weird like bluey color over the top of my skin. Like, I know we all get these things cause like honestly, it's the worst, but I actually really hate that tint. It gives me like, if you guys have any recommendations for like sunscreen that like doesn't give you this like white tint, it doesn't look so bad today because I haven't put too much on. But normally if I like when I'm, especially when I'm in a hot country and I really recommend this for you guys, especially when you're in a hot country, your first layer of sunscreen, please put it on really, really thick. Um, I'm not saying it lasts longer. It's just nice to have a good base layer. And that's the other great thing with BB cream. Um, I'll keep reapplying that or like trying to remember to reapply it. Like, let's be honest, like we're not all great at like remembering to reapply sunscreen, but I will try to. Try is gonna be the main operative word in that sentence. Um, I'm gonna try, I will try to reapply it um, and keep reapplying it all. Oh, dropping stuff. Um, I'll, and I like the BB cream because it's generally a lot more, it's obviously a lot more moisturizing but it is also like got a little tint so it doesn't like ruin my like makeup that I put on that day. So I'm gonna show you the foundation and concealer I use. Um, on days where I feel like the black underneath my eye is quite bad, um, I'll put a lot more of this concealer. This is the Tarte, is it Tarte or Tarte? I don't know, Creaseless Silk, Creaseless Concealer? Yeah, oh my God, I can't speak. Um, I love Tarte Tarte products. I like their concealers. I've been using Tarte concealers for a while now. I use their old the shape tape, I think it's called. Or I don't know what it was called, but um, I always get these little baby ones. Look how small it is, it's so little. Um, but I like them, they're so much easier to travel with and because I don't use too much makeup anyway, like it's like the perfect size for like when I go away. And then I also have the ordinary this is the coverage foundation, but when I, if I'm traveling, I'll generally keep the serum foundation, which is so much more lightweight and it's kind of like, like a light layer on your skin and it's not heavy or like too glossy or anything. And then I'm so sorry, this is so gross, but um, I'll, then I'll just use like a sponge to like plop it, plop it on. So let's do that real quickly, shall we? Dub, 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 dub. <laughs> so, I don't know. Every time I do my foundation, I always think of that like a uh, TikTok sound where she's like, dub your sins away, dub, 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 dub. <laughs> anyway, if you guys know what I'm talking about, give me a comment. So with the concealer, I've only ever really, I think you've ever really put it underneath my eyes or like on spots. Um, and I don't know if you guys have heard of him. He's quite a big YouTuber. Um, but I follow Robert Welsh. He's a makeup artist um, from England. And honestly, my makeup has just got 10 times better since I started following him. So like, please like give him a follow. He has the best tips, like the best tips. So. Oh my God, you guys, do you know what I did? I forgot to prime, I forgot to prime my skin. I forgot to prime my skin. I can't believe I forgot to prime my skin. Okay, I'm not gonna go back and prime my skin. I Maybe another day I would, but I'm not going to today. But for hot primer, I use this bad boy. Um, it's the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I like grip primers. I have quite a big pores here. I don't know if you can see them on camera generally. Cameras are pretty good at hiding these things. Um, 
I, I love it, just a, like a squirt, like it like put it on the whole face obviously and then like pat it in. It's great, it's honestly the best primer. But again, I only generally use this if I'm like obviously not using like a BB cream. Um, I'll only really use this if I'm putting like foundation and concealer on. Um, otherwise I won't. And um, so I, even though I do travel with it, it's not like an everyday thing that I wear. <clears throat> okay, so I 100% didn't realize it wasn't recording. So I did already explain this, but um, let's do it again. So, so it's already applied on my face. So for blusher, I, I don't use like a different blusher highlighter. I actually use like a mixed one because it's just easier to carry. Um, so this is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the color Yacht Life. It's this like really beautiful like pinky um, color which has like a sh nice shine to it. I'm pretty sure it's just meant to be a shimmer stick it says. So I think it's just meant to be highlighter but it works really well on my skin as a blusher as well as you can see. Like I have already applied it because when I did it the first time I didn't realise it wasn't recording. Yay! That happens a lot to me. Next I'll do my brows, so... Just putting away the stuff that I've already used. Um, so I use, and I've used for the last maybe four years now, since I was in Australia, so two, three years, um, this Anastasia Pomade Dip brow it is it's been popular for years. Um and this is in the colour chocolate. I like to get a colour that's like a little bit um lighter than my brows so that it doesn't like darken them too much. Um but the reason I carry this around is because I just like to have nice brows. <laughs> that's like a genuine, like just pure like I just like like brows is one of the things I I don't know, they just like they're so important, I just think that they have to be fully key. <laughs> that word be like. I was really scared to do this because I didn't think I'd be able to do this on camera. I'm not gonna lie. Actually, before I started doing travel YouTube, I actually really wanted to be a beauty YouTuber. Um, my makeup game is not, is not that strong, it's not that strong <laughs> to be a beauty YouTuber, but Anyway, if you guys are liking this video, this video like let me know because I would love to do more get ready get ready with me I've already got a list of get ready's with me that we can do potentially um, so yeah just like give me a comment and tell me I think they look 20 now my eyebrows are always sisters and never twins. I just can't, I can't get them like that. Um, yeah, so I do that. <laughs> um, so the next thing that I have in, I always keep one eyeshadow palette, just one. Generally, I generally try to keep a, like a small one, like a little mini one like this, um, because obviously they're easier to carry. Um, but also because they have like a little mirror in them. Um, this one is the Huda Beauty Warm Obsessions. I I like Huda's stuff. Like I like her, I don't like like her skin stuff, like her foundations, etc. I think they're way way too thick for me personally. But I do like her palettes. The eyeshadows always stay on my lids for a very very long time and. That's something that like has never happened before with me. Um, and then I also keep these two MAC brushes 
This is um, the 540 SES and a, a different one, which is flatter. <laughs> these ones. Um, <laughs> a different one, which is flatter. I like these because they're small. Like, can you see? They're like, they're like basically just a little bit bigger than the palette. Um, normally brushes are like quite long like this. Like this is the size of like a normal brush and these are like the travel brushes that I bought. Um, easier to carry. Um, I don't really keep too many brushes with me because I don't like use powder or anything. So um, yeah, these small brushes are great and I like this one. And the last couple of things I use are obviously I use eyeliner and mascara. So I really, I really liked this eyeliner because it's got, um, it's the Huda Beauty, I'm trying to hit myself with the face in it, life liner. So it's got like a twist top one. And then also a liquid. So I have the choice, this liquid doesn't, doesn't budge. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it, um, but I did do a video a couple of weeks ago called about Davidson's Pool, go watch it. I use this liquid eyeliner, I'm in the water all day, for like six hours I'm in the water and it doesn't budge, like it's there the whole day. Um, so today I'm not going to do a big look, I'm literally just going to, so <laughs> when I was younger, I think I must have been like, what, 15 or something. I saw my cousin do this once and I've been obsessed with doing it ever since. So I don't really put like it on like the top part of my lash. What I'll do is I'll put it here, just at the bottom. I think this is like a standard thing that people do, but I don't know, I was just like really amazed when I was 15 and I saw it and I've like not stopped doing it since. Uh, put it here, close your eyes and then, it looks kind of gross, but. And then it, try not to get it on your lid. And then it lines the top of your lid. Amazing. I don't know why, like I was a child, but I was so amazed by the whole thing. And I think it's because um, my cousin, she did it so effort, I always get, I got on my lid. She always did it so effortlessly, so, and I've never just been able to do it as effortlessly as her, to be honest. But, yeah. Um, yeah, so I like this, it, <laughs> I like things that save space, obviously. So this saves a lot of space because it is like a two in one, um, and it is very, very, very black. And it, I don't know, it's just, it, it works perfectly for people who travel definitely, like, if you really like eyeliner and you like to travel, that's like literally the perfect thing for you. And this is just a great mascara, like Lash Sensational by Maybelline. And the worst thing is running out of something while you're traveling and not being able to replace it. Um, or like finding a replacement and it's just like not as good as the one that you're using before. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, and then... Yes. Oh God, did I... I always do this. I don't ever wait for it to dry. I just like carry on. And so my <laughs> mascara always gets everywhere. So it's kind of underneath my eye. It doesn't look so bad. I think I can get away with it right now. Just wait till it dries and then take it off. Um, yes, I'm a basic, basic gal. Um, the Urban Decay All Nighter, it's just so good. Like, why change something if you don't need to? This again is 
the mini version because the big version is just so big. Like, am I really going to be able to fit it into there? No, 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 no. Not, I'm not going to be able to fit into there. So this is great. It's good travel size. Um, this one, yeah. You can pretty much find them anywhere, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, this is what I leave. If I'm going to wait until I take off my mascara and then I'm going to do them. Wait till my mascara dries and I'll do it. Um, and lastly for lips, I don't really use too much of my lips when I'm traveling. Um, I get my cut, my little, my, my cousin, my best friend gave me, this is a bit gross now because I've like drawn another one that gave me this EOS thing. Best thing ever. It's so good. It keeps my lips, keeps my lips so hydrated. Um, yeah, and then if I'm feeling fancy, I'll put a little bit of gloss on, but I don't want to do that today. So yeah, and that's it. <laughs> Guys, why did that take so much longer than I thought it was going to take? Um, the last thing that I keep in my bag, obviously I keep like creams and stuff. Um, but the last thing that I always keep in this is this cleansing butter. It is the, the, the best. It is like small and compact and you literally just need like a little bit, wash it, put it on your face, wash it off, wipe your face. And I'll do that like twice at the end of the night, um, at the end of the day and it takes everything off and then I'll go to sleep. <laughs> I don't do anything else, I don't. Well now at the moment I like tone and stuff because I have the space for it. But when you don't have the space for it, this, this, Trust, like, trust me, get this. Oh, I've done it again. I did it again. Guys, I did it again. <sighs> why do I keep, why do I keep doing this? Anyway. Yes, so that's everything that fits in this little bad boy here. So this is what I look like at the end of it. Obviously, I just look like a normal person. This is what people go out looking like every day. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. We are a family now. Like, come on, guys. I really appreciate all your support. Um, subscribe, all that beautiful stuff. Um, please just stay safe, stay sane. Lots of love, Kishmi. Do you know what I just thought, I thought about this the other day. I really, I don't know why I say lots of love Keshvi when literally the channel name is called Love From Keshvi. So maybe we're gonna change it. Um, stay safe, stay sane, love from Keshvi.